Hey, it's Annie. Today I thought I would do a get ready with me and we're just gonna talk, catch up on things. So that is what today's video is gonna be about. I'll kind of, I'm not really, this isn't about makeup application or, or anything like that, but I will, as I'm doing it, I will point out the things that I'm using in case you're interested in it. And always, always look at the show more because I always share makeup that I wear and you know, just other notes that I have, other videos that I list down there. So always make sure you check that. And also please make sure you click that subscribe button below. I share a new video Monday through Friday. And also make sure you click on that notification bell because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. And that's how face, uh, that's how YouTube works. All right, so I've already primed my face and everything and I'm just gonna get into this. I think actually today, I'm gonna mix the Ordinary Serum and the Osmosis, just for kicks. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that today. Today is a very sunny day, thank the Lord, because yesterday was a really bad day. For me yesterday, um, I messaged Kathy and told her that I was having a really bad day, and I just was. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those people that I am affected by the weather. And when we have a lot of cloudy days here, when I say cloudy, it's like nighttime cloudy. Like sometimes the, the lights, the outside night lights will go on during the day. It really affects me. I mean, I almost feel like I'm sick. You know what I mean? Like even though there's nothing like physically wrong with me, you know how you feel when you get sick? I mean, that's how I am at least. When I get sick, I don't care what I look like. I don't care about anything. I just don't care. I just want to go in bed and just pull the covers over my head and go to sleep. That's how I feel. Um, and it's only when it's really cloudy this time of the year and you get cabin fever because I don't like going out. I don't like going out in the cold. It's not fun for me. Um, we had some snow, not that much, so I really shouldn't complain, but you know, anytime you get any snow or anything on the ground, it's like, I don't want to go anywhere. So it was it was just a bad day. Do you are you affected by the weather? I just I totally am. That's why I want to move somewhere where there's a lot more sunshine. I mean, I know there's cloudy days there. I can take a cloudy day here and there, but this time of the year is just special. I'm so happy that the sun is out. Oh my gosh, even though it's uh, and it seems extra bright because we have snow on the ground, so yeah, even though I don't like the snow, I guess I'm happy about that. I have like this little red dot here because, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video or not. If I did, I'm sorry for my repeating myself. I've been trying, I know I've said this before, but I've been trying to film ahead of time. I used to just film on the day I was gonna do a video. I'm trying not to do that because I don't know what's gonna happen, but there could become a time soon that I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um but I was using one of those um, pimple extractors and when I push on my skin, I broke about a blood vessel. So I guess I shouldn't be using it there. That was a dumb thing for me to do. So now I have, it's getting better, but I have like a little red mark. I got this set from Sephora and it's like I got a little powder from Kat Von D and I got a cute little mirror and what else did I get? I got a lip color, but I think I'm gonna give that to my daughter. And then I got the tattoo liner, which I've always wanted to try and tried it. And it's from Sephora when you have all those points to use up. So I grabbed this. We'll see how this powder is. Cause you know, I love my, you know, I love my Charlotte Tilbury powder. If you can follow me. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh God. It's not like my Charlotte. I still have to use powder even though my skin is dry right now because if I don't my skin is actually you know it's a little bit oily too so I gotta put some powder on otherwise my makeup's gonna slide all over the place and I have to bronze my face up a little bit and yes I'm using my Chanel one that I really 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 enjoy I know a couple of you had said, it's so expensive. It doesn't look like I've even used any yet. So just keep that in mind when you order this. 
And I love this brush, but I will tell you, it was shedding a little bit on me. This is the Chanel brush. It was shedding on me. I washed it, and it seems like since I washed it, I haven't noticed it shedding, so that's a good thing. I feel like my face has been falling lately. <laughs> you know, magnified mirrors are probably not always a good thing. Um, but if I don't have a magnified mirror, I can't see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm feeling like my face is falling right here. I know some of you said, no, it doesn't look like it. Good angles, good lighting. My face is falling. I don't know. I think that's why I was feeling bad yesterday too. And I, I shared a video. Um, I did a nighttime tutorial. You guys were so nice. And I had so many nice comments from so many of you, even on my personal Facebook page. Really meant a lot to me, especially when I was having a bad day. I was just having a day where I just felt ugly. I don't know. I, I still have days like that where I just feel like, you know what I mean? I think we all have days like that where we just feel like not our best. And it was so nice that you guys were so sweet with the compliments. Thank you so much. This time of the year, like I said, this is when I can get into my depression. And um, it's the weather. It's just the weather just really, really affects me. Oh, I should have used this blush. I forgot about this blush. I love this blush. So this is my It Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I love it. The It Girl. Mm, I love this palette. Why didn't I use that blush? I forgot that the blush was in here. Uh, I'm going to do a purple eye look today. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use these on this side. A little bit more purpley shade. It's like, I don't know, like a new... I love this palette because I feel like so many people could wear this, you know? I love it. Isn't this pretty? Like, look already what my transition color. Like, how pretty. I'm using this color right here as my transition color. I'm trying to show you without showing you my messy table. <laughs> so pretty. I love this palette so much. So after I film this video today, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do another video. I don't know which I'm going to put up first. I'm actually might put my video that I'm going to video record next up first. Yeah, but I'm sharing a, so if I do that, make sure you check. Um, I'm, I'm doing an updated uh, how to apply eyelashes video because this time of the year, I think a lot of you are going to parties and you may want to, you know, spice it up a little bit. And um, so it's a, a great time to play around with false lashes. One thing I will say though, is if you're going to wear false lashes, make sure you give yourself some time to do that. You do not want to just practice. I have two mirrors in front of me. You don't want to practice doing your yeah you know, putting on lashes before you're going to go somewhere you know what i mean like that's not the time you practice you may want to get them and practice a couple times before you go just to get the gist of it and then give yourself time otherwise you're probably going to feel like you want to kill someone because or you're going to need to have a couple glasses of wine when you're doing it you know what i mean because um yeah it can kind of get tricky but i'm gonna i'm gonna share some tips that will hopefully make it easier for you. I don't wear my um, false lashes as much as I used to because I've been using a lash growing serum. Revital Lash has been, wow, what a change that has made on me. It's unbelievable. Isn't this pretty? This is a really pretty color. I really like this. This is like one of those colors that you can wear if you're going out someplace. You can wear it during like daytime. That's why I really love this palette. I mean, I really love this palette. I just wish it wasn't limited edition. I'm so over the limited edition stuff. I hate that, but I'm so glad that I added this to my collection. This will be used a lot. I have been using it a lot. I won't use it every time I do a, a tutorial, but I didn't share um, these colors last time. I, I did the other side, so I thought oh, it'd be fun to do this for you guys so you could see what it looks like. But I love, 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 love. Did I say love? 
So I shared recently that I shared an updated to my um, my bag that I have, my um, my Gucci Marmot bag that I love. And you know that because I said that in the video and you're like, girl, do you love that bag? I do love that bag. Um, but I had a really rude comment that actually went to my spam and it's now deleted that somebody felt the need to tell me that, are you crazy spending that kind of money on a bag? And this is what I have to say to you, okay? And this is how I'm gonna address it. First off, um, I bought my first, and I've shared this before, I bought a Gucci bag when I was in high school and I think I bought a couple Louis Vuitton bags. And I, and I saved up my money, worked hard, saved up my money, and I purchased those bags. And I had them for many, many years and through the moves, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to them. And then I had my daughter and I just kind of got out of that wanting a designer bag thing, you know? I just, I don't know, I just did. I wasn't putting on my makeup as much. I was just a stay-at-home mom. And so I really didn't need a designer bag. So I got out of it. And then um, right around when I turned 50, I started getting into it a little bit more again. So I bought a Michael Kors bag that I really like. I just don't wear it all the time because of the kind of bag that it is. It's not a comfortable bag for me to wear out around all the time. It's more of like a satchel bag. But I love it and I like to wear it if I go out someplace special. It's a bag that I can, you know, bring out with me. But it's not one that I'm going to go to the grocery store or walk around and it's just not that comfortable for me. It's kind of heavy. Um, but I like it. I don't want to get rid of it. I, I still like it. But I started seeing the, um, the ch chain strap bags like the Chanel and the Gucci bags. And so I was like, oh, I really, really like the way that looks. I like how it, um, can dress up an outfit or you can wear it with a pair of jeans. Like, I just love it. It looked like it was comfortable. So I was looking into the Chanel and what I discovered with Chanel is I just, it's just too much for my pocket. I would really have to save up a long time to get one of those because those are really expensive for me. Like I can't afford it. Um, but I really like the chain strap. So I bought a couple of Rebecca Mikoff bags and I ended up returning them because I didn't like the way, the quality of them. I didn't like that. After I, uh, well, one of them I was wearing around and just after wearing it, it just, I feel like I'm not getting my spray in there. Uh, after wearing it, it just was not comfortable. And so that's one thing about Nordstrom, they're really good about returns. So I returned it and I just thought, you know what, those bags just aren't for me. So I just felt like the quality wasn't there, it wasn't comfortable. So I returned them and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to save up and get the bag I really, really want. And I knew I couldn't get a Chanel bag. And after looking into it, I just decided Chanel bags are not for me because the, the chain strap doesn't have that leather piece there. I'm going into a long story here, but I feel like I have to say, say all this. Um, so the Chanel bags are, you know, don't have that leather strap and they're just way out of my price range. So I found the Gucci bag and I absolutely love it. Yes, it is an expensive bag. I don't have a lot of bags. Like I don't, I don't have a lot of bags. I really don't. And I'm probably never will have a lot of bags. I would like to get a couple more. There's a couple more that I have my eye on and I'm going to save up and then I will purchase it. Now, it might be extravagant for some people and think, what's, it's just a bag, blah, blah, blah. I don't spend a lot of money on expensive jewelry. My jewelry is costume jewelry, except for my wedding ring, which I'm not wearing today. Um, my ring from Disney that I got, my crown ring, again, I'm not wearing my rings. I don't wear my rings around the house. I usually try to put them on before I film, um, but then sometimes I forget. I always wear them when I leave the house, but when I'm at home, I just don't always wear my rings, you know? But. Um, I don't have like a lot of expensive jewelry. This is from Bobble Bar. I love their jewelry. You know I do. I'm always wearing my videos. I love my friends. Jewelry. It's all custom jewelry. These are beautiful. They're cubic zirconia from Nordstrom. I love them. So I don't wear a lot of expensive jewelry. I don't wear expensive shoes. My shoes are not expensive. I found some really cute shoes at Target. By the way, this is the, uh, I'm liking this. 
This is from Benefit, and this is the Precisely My Brow pencil. I'm really loving this. I might like this more than the uh, Anastasia, but I have two backups, so I'll have to use those up. But anyway, so I don't, I, I'm never gonna have like a, a lot of bags or anything like that, but I just feel like a bag, a nice bag is a piece of luggage. And I have issues with my, my neck and my shoulders. So I like, I like to have a bag that's comfortable for me. I like to have a bag that is versa, versatile for me. And I like a bag, not only versatile in the way I wear it, but even like wearing it out somewhere. Uh, if I wanted to go to, you know, a, you know, if I was going out to an event or if I'm just going to the grocery store, whatever, like I want to have a bag that fits all that. And that's what my Gucci does. I don't spend a lot of money on my clothes either. I get clothes from the thrift shop. I get some brand new clothes. Um, my Barefoot Dreams, I wear those every single day. Um, but other than that, most of my jeans, I do buy some brand new jeans, but most of my jeans are from the thrift shop. So most of my things are from the you know thrift shop or if I get brand new clothes, I don't spend a ton of money. Even at Nordstrom, if I get like long sleeve t-shirts, they're like 15, 20, 25 bucks or something like that. Like I don't spend a ton of money on my clothes. I just don't. So I feel like if I want to splurge on a bag, like what is it to you to leave me like a rude, nasty comment. I never do my videos like, oh, look, I have a bag. I always do it in a review because I think those are so helpful. That's how I found my, that's why I decided to get my Henry Bendel bag, which I love. It's just a little too big for me to use every day. Um, and that is how I found my, you know, Gucci Marmot bag. That's why I decided to get it because I did my research and I found videos on it. So those are really helpful videos. This is my, I have to get more of my um, uh, Physician's Formula again. I feel like I'm going through that stuff so fast. That's a negative thing about that. Um, this is my Curvy. This is so nice, I love this. Drugstore. I am finding some drugstore uh, makeup right now. If I could just find a foundation, that would be fabulous. And then I could do a drugstore makeover. I just haven't found enough stuff to do a makeover yet. I thought I found a mascara, but no. I don't, I don't know why people have to leave like her comments like that. It was someone that never even left a comment on it. It's just a, it's not a regular person that, you know what I mean? Those are the people that are like, um, like a troll, you know what I mean? that just felt the need to tell me that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Why do my eyes look so dry today? Oh my gosh, I hope you can't see on um, here. My eyes look like crepey, crepey. I'm gonna put my lipstick on. I need to order more of my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm getting really low on my lip liner. This is Charmer by Maybelline. This is those hot, vivid, vivid hot lacquer. So let's see, what does this, can I get too dark or any? I don't know. I don't like anything really dark. On my lips. I know you guys don't think it's dark. And then the lighting, it doesn't look as dark. Let's try. And a little bit of that too. This is by Flower. I just bought some other lipsticks to try out. Now I look like I need a gloss. <laughs> now I have three lip colors on. Okay, oh, I'll see you like this color. I like like a nude that's kind of light like that. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Put my, this eyelash curl, I have to tell you, I really do love it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Put my gel on my brows. That's what happens when I'm chatting with you guys. Um, I really do like this eyelash curler. This is good. I got this last year from Tarte and I still haven't had to put a refill on it. I'm surprised. It's still, it's still good. Still good looking good. I'm just gonna put my gel on here. Keep my brows in place. I really love that brow 
um, pencil from Benefit. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really liking it. It's really, I think I like it more than Anastasia, but I'm gonna have to use those up before I, I just thought, you know, I'm gonna try it. Why? I don't know, because I have to use up my other ones, but I kind of go back and forth and I use that one and my Anastasia, but oh, I love it. So I'm gonna put my mascara on and I'm still using my YSL. Girl, I gotta pluck some brow. I can see a couple hairs. I'm glad you can't see that. Wow, this, um, my cheek is really glowing today. I'm not gonna go too crazy with my mascara because I'm gonna, actually maybe I will. So I might take my lashes off after I put them on. Thank you so, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really enjoyed spending time with you and catching up. Um, please make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will leave the links below and I will leave links below with everything that I used, you know, put on my face today in this video. So that is it. Thank you so much and I will see you real soon.